Welcome to day 283. Um, some really cool rapture verses uh, today. Um, let's get into uh, just a few points of, of what we've learned in our reading today. Uh, the only work that God wants, we always talk about works. Well, works won't get you into heaven. Nothing will. So what are the works that God says he wants? So in John 6, uh, verse 29, he says, Jesus told them, this is the only work God wants from you. Now listen carefully. This is so very important. The word only, you know, all, everything, never, those things we want to look for. And the word only. <clears throat> the only work, the only thing we can do that God wants from us is to believe in the one he, he has sent. To believe in Jesus. That's the only work he wants. End of story. Stop looking for other things. The bread of life. And for your list of names for God, I put down the bread of life in John 6, 35 and 48. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry again. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. In 48, he says, uh, yes, I am the bread of life. Done. Okay. And now, let's talk about the rapture. So you have your rapture passages. Uh, chapter 6, verse 39. And this is the will of God, that I should not lose even one of all those, not one of all those he has given me, but that I should raise them up at the last day. So for us, that last day is the rapture. So that's the end of the church age. We have Jesus is born. So we have the Old Testament. Jesus is born. The New Testament uh, to the rapture is the church age. After the rapture sometime, seven years of the tribulation. At the end of the tribulation, the thousand year reign. And then we have eternity. So at the last day for us, that's the rapture. And we will be raised. Okay, and we also have verse 40 after that. For it is my Father's will that all who all who see his Son and believe in him, all who see him and believe in him, in him should have eternal life. I will raise them up at the last day. Verse 44, for no one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws them to me. And at the last day, I will raise them up. 56, anyone who eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. Okay, so that's talking about taking communion. So, I mean, when we take communion, we say you can't take communion unless you believe in Christ. So that's an outward expression that we do um, as eating the flesh of Christ and drinking his blood. Um, and that's what that's saying, that you're showing belief in the one uh, that God sent, and that's what he wants. The only work God wants is for you to believe in the one he sent, in Jesus. So those are all rapture passages that we will be raised. Anyone who believes has eternal life, John 6, verse 47. I tell you the truth, anyone who believes, anyone who believes has eternal life. Um, in verse 58... I am the true bread that came down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will not die as your ancestors did, but will live forever. And then the last part, we I just wanted to mention this in John 6, verse 70. Um, then Jesus said, I chose the 12 of you, but one is the devil. He was speaking of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, one of the 12 who would later betray him. So Jesus is God, and he also knows who Judas is. Um, and he knew he was going to betray him. But that was all part of the will, part of the plan to bring Christ as the substitute for us uh, to be sacrificed uh, for our sins. So that's just all part of who Jesus is. He knew what was going to be happening. He's mentioning the rapture that we will be raised. Even if you don't believe in the rapture, it is him saying that there is a, uh, a last day that we will be raised. So regardless, we're going to be raised. Um, but uh, obviously, uh, when we keep progressing, there's going to be tons of verses that, that are so different from second coming passages that there has to be a rapture. 
and then all of this about uh, that we keep reading about in the Old Testament and and coming that there is no condemnation, so we will not have to go through the uh, tribulation. So the rapture must be before the tribulation. Blah 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 blah. We'll get hit hit all those things as we come to them. And as you're taking notes over these things, and then you start to put them in order, it'll be beyond convincing of when the rapture is and when the second coming is, and what's in the tribulation. So keep making these lists. If you have not started, start now, because we still have all of the New Testament uh, to read. All right, that's your day 283. I'll see you tomorrow.